You've been out shooting, and you discover that everything looks like this. Now, what do you do? Well, you just need to color correct that cast, because this is what happens when light hits the surface and then bounces off that surface and then onto your subject. And it could be a wall, it could be a floor, but the most common one that I often see is caused by greenery, because we're often outdoors and shoot, or maybe we shoot near a window with some greenery on the other side. And since the color green is so far from human skin, and that's why green screens are green, by the way, it's not just because of the name, it doesn't take a whole lot to kind of mess up the skin tones of your subject and make them look almost seasick. But it's not just about skin tones when it comes to color cast. A heavy color cast can also reduce your overall color contrast and clarity. Like here, we've got a lot of green in this shot. But let's see what happens with the colors if we pull back the green a bit with a tint slider. Look at the color of the tree trunks and the people. Everything looks way clearer and more distinct. Let's do before and then after. And now let's apply the same method to a shot with more visible skin to see what happens. So let's start with the tint slider and we'll see. Most of the colors look way cleaner now, but we still got that seasick looking face. And the same with the hands down here. So how do we correct the skin now that everything else looks pretty good? If we push more magenta into the image, we'll just screw up all the other colors. So we need some way to correct just the skin. And we can do this by using the hue versus hue curves. Now, if you trust your monitor and you're in a hurry, you can do it by eye like this. Just grab a sample of the skin with the eyedropper tool and start pushing the hue curve towards red and magenta, like this. Now, this is definitely a fast and loose way to go about this. It's not as precise as using your vector scope and the flesh line. But I've decided to make a separate video on the vector scope and the flesh line to keep this video more basic and more geared towards color casts in general. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so you get a notification when I publish that next video. So let us summarize all this. Color casts or color reflections are pretty much everywhere and some will screw and mess with your colors more than others. So do be mindful of your surroundings when you're out shooting. And I can also recommend that you try shooting with a flat profile because that way you'll have less of that color cast baked into your footage and it's going to be much easier for you to correct everything in post. Now let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye! <laughs>